This weekend, the Riverdale Jewish Community Partnership has arranged for sidewalk sermons all throughout Riverdale. Rabbis and clergy from all the different institutions will be delivering to Torah about Yaakov's dream, about Jacob's ladder, all throughout the community. And I hope you'll join me outside the RJC at 3 p.m. for my Dvar Torah on this week's Parsha. You could consider this week's Parsha video as a preview or maybe part one. I hope you'll join me to continue the conversation Shabbos afternoon for part two. Yaakov Avinu has an experience in our Parsha that is unique among the Avos. Because all of the Avos face the challenges of drought and famine, having to follow Hashem in difficult missions to and from the land of Israel. But only Yaakov Avinu is really destitute. Only Yaakov Avinu really has to face the challenge of poverty. When he runs away from his parents' home, he's certainly worried about what life will be like away from Israel, what life will be like in the house of Lavan. But first and foremost on Yaakov Avinu's mind is the concern that he has no resources of his own. And in fact, when Yaakov Avinu returns to the land of Israel many years later, yes, he feels a sense of pride in his homecoming, but he is incredibly proud of the fact that he is now a success. He left with nothing, and now he's coming back with so much. Yaakov Avinu teaches us that there are two ways in which we are thankful in life. One is to be thankful for that which we've been given, and the second is to be thankful for that which we've earned. And especially this year when we go around the table on Thanksgiving, we need to be mindful of both of them. There is a tremendous gift in being able to work hard. There is a tremendous pride in feeling a sense of accomplishment for that which we have created for ourselves. And especially this year, when the challenges of COVID have forced us to be hardworking, when they have pushed us to be our best selves so that we can succeed professionally and socially and personally. We recognize that it's not just about what other people give us, but it's what we make of ourselves, what we earn for ourselves, that brings us our greatest sense of satisfaction. So when we go around the table this weekend, either on Thanksgiving or maybe on Friday night, we think of the lesson of Yaakov Avinu and we remind ourselves that we need to be thankful for one another, but we also have to be thankful to ourselves. We have to work hard. We have to take responsibility for our own lives and that we can be thankful for all the success that Hashem has helped us achieve. Let's learn from Yaakov Avinu to work hard in the face of challenging circumstances, but let's also learn from Yaakov Avinu that with hard work comes tremendous pride, and we will have so much to be thankful for. I hope you'll join me on Shabbos afternoon, 3 p.m. outside the RJC. Let's keep the conversation going. Happy Thanksgiving to one and all.